What up cats and chicks, it's Urshan Grusa here and welcome back to a brand new video. So yeah, I'm sporting the Cryptic Art baseball shirt today, come on. And I will talk about Madman uh, quite shortly, but a lot of people will be like saying, uh, Ben, where's your leather jacket? You're not wearing it, man. Well, I'm going to address that. First of all, uh, back in the day, uh, I was thinking of having like, a bit of uh, a paint job on one of my uh, leather jackets and um, stuff like that. It's not the one I'm currently like wearing well. Uh, well, from my past videos, not the ones I've been wearing and whatnot, it was a different leather jacket. Uh, it's the same style, it was kind of more like the Terminator 2 uh, kind of like style, if you want to like call it that. I don't know what brand it was, uh, that was like phew, years ago. But basically, when I saw um, Madman's um, artwork with like, uh, the paintwork like, on the back of the leather jackets and stuff like that, it did kind of inspire me. And... Uh, it kind of like gave me the idea of um, using the Urchin Greaser um, logo as a um, part of it. So um, therefore, um, I had like a jacket. Um, it looked cool and all, and it had like an embroidery um, patch of um, the Ace Cafe. So therefore, um, I had it dismantled, and it mostly like showed like marks like from the stitching and stuff like that from the seamstress who uh, put like the patch like, on the jacket. So without even knowing, uh, which is quite normal, uh, <clears throat> I sent it off as you do. I inboxed uh, the person uh, who works at the business firm who does like uh, printing and stuff like that. And the guy was fairly decent and all that. Uh, a guy called Simon, um, he was talking to me like about like such and such, like what to know, the price, and so on and so forth. And um, naturally, uh, I'm. I was down like, to pay uh, whatever it was and stuff like that. <clears throat> he didn't like print it like basically. He kind of like uh, done a mock up, like the image on the back of like my leather jacket, and uh, he gave me some pictures like saying what it would look like, and he gave me like some warnings like, to be like aware about and all that, saying that um, something like. Um, but bear in mind though, when we like print like the logo. Um, the marks from the stitches will um, show, and uh, the issue was the leather jacket was like too thick. And bless him, he said, um, "Don't worry about um, paying for it um, if you don't like approve it." He was quite a decent guy to be honest with you, because usually you get like people like taking the money off you and stuff like that. So um, the way how he sort of like explained all of it, I thought it was fairly decent of him, and he seems like a genuine guy. Bless him, but. Now that I've covered that, um, now to uh, do the main thing, I'll be right back. I'm sorry that's in the way, uh, it's my uh, green screen of my projects and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, this is a new leather jacket um, I've got by uh, Galanto. It's uh, an XL, like 42 inch and stuff like that, I don't know. But yeah, it's basically like um, a 50s like vibe. Totally different to the one you see me like regularly wearing and stuff like that. There you go. That's what it basically looks like. And uh, zip the thing up. There you go, that's what it basically looks like. Uh, see if I can try and get the buckle. Okay, I might not have the buckle done like done properly, uh, I don't know. But yeah, that's what it basically looks like. And of course you want to like pop that up. Kind of got more like a Marlon Brando uh, kind of vibe. But yeah, I'm pretty impressed with that. Um, I won't worry about the buckle and all that. Ignore it, alright? Don't judge, but yeah, that's pretty much that. Is it? Wait, no, there's nothing to mention about. Um, it's got like a relation to a madman and all. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, so um, what's going to happen is that there's going to be a lot of few changes um, to um, your leather jacket, and um, I'll give you an example um, like what exactly. Okay, so um, that's the back of the jacket. 
so um, where I was talking about um, the logo, like Virgin Grease and whatnot, basically going to be like um, how many painted on there, and um, <clears throat> I'm afraid I can only do it with one hand. I'm afraid, guys. I'm sorry. Don't judge. <clears throat> And um, obviously there's the front part. Uh, maybe doing like, a few changes on that as well. I might um, add some studs on there. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that just yet. What I will be doing though, I'm going to be adding like some pin badges on there. Um, I don't know like how much I can like um, fit on there. Uh, I'm not going to like um, count my chickens just yet, or um, jump the gun, or whatever the hell you guys um, call it. Like, so basically, uh, my plan is getting like one of them outdoor greasers um, pin badges, and of course, uh, the urchin greaser one, uh, the GTFO uh, badge, and uh, who knows, maybe cryptic art. I don't know, but yeah. Oh, and of course, um, I will be doing what um, outdoor greaser I've done to his jacket. Uh, I will. Do that but obviously put urchin and um greaser under there and perhaps then sort of like um, a music note basically like go nuts with the um the jacket so talking about the whole um, paint job thing and whatnot um uh, my friend um madman um I was sort of like talking about um, his paint job, saying that he makes it look easy and stuff like that. And um, I was telling him about the whole like, uh, situation with me where it turned into like, a shit show and stuff like that. And uh, Madman said that um, he's down for um, like, painting like, the Urchin Greaser logo on the back of the leather jacket. And uh, it will be pretty awesome. And Madman, if you're watching the video, uh, I look forward to meeting you like very, very soon at the Shakedown along with Rock and Roll Joker. And of course, guys, um, if you're down for like going to the shakedown, um, be sure to um, like book a spot at the, at the campsite or get a, um, a hotel, whatever your preference is. And hopefully, I'll see you guys there. So yeah, I'm gonna push it from here, guys. And of course, um, stay greasy, cats and chicks. And as always, GTFO. <laughs>